All right, we're here on another glorious sunny day. And I know you've always wanted to see somebody run a 40 yard dash in waders. So to do a mobility test, to show you how well you can move in these things, I'm gonna run 40 yards in waders on a track for YouTube. On your mark. <laughs> Seven and a half seconds. Seven and a half seconds? Yeah. That's not bad for 40 yard dash. About an hour. Later. The banded red zone waders come in. I know it's in here somewhere. Uh, let's see, short, tall, king, and stout sizing options. So probably from an eight regular all the way up to a 15, 14, something like that. So, I mean, they're super comfortable. What about the boots on them? The boots, yeah, I mean, I like the boots, but They don't fit their feet well or something. So, when you I saw me run in waders, everybody. Well, it is a gorgeous sunny day today, let me tell you. Anyway, the reason I'm making this video is because these, um, Banded waders have a bad rap for uh, a lot of dudes online are posting the uh, bottom brand new out of the box and they have leaks or whatever. And on Facebook, on uh, Bass Pro, uh, Google reviews, there's just a whole bunch of bad reviews about, you know, it's leaking right out of the box. So, I have brand new brand new box brand new waders um let's see if they leak Bone dry right out of the box. So, it's a, it's a good sign. Okay, so we're back inside. Before I end this video, I thought I would show some reviews on the internet because a lot of people say, you know, it leaks or they leak or the waiters leak or whatever. And so, anyway. And then I found this on Facebook. This guy says, whoops, sorry. Has anyone used banded waders? I have had three pairs now and all three have leaked. Customer service was not willing to help. I had the same problem with mine. Mine are beyond sucking it up. I've had two of them in the last week. And these are from, okay, this is from, this post is from November 28th, 2018. So this fall. So this is a fairly recent one. Get you some gator waders. I've had two pairs of banded waders, they both leaked. Same, banded waders leaked. My frog togs are eight years old, never let me down. From Michigan. Banded customer service sucks. I've had my lacrosses for the years, they finally gave out on me. Um, let's see. Don't look at frog togs. I have not had any issues with the banded waders, so, you know, there's a bunch of good reviews, there's a bunch of bad reviews, my, my take on it is my friend 
The reason I got them is because the friend I hunt with, he has a pair. He's had his for five or six years. So, um, I got mine on sale, and I'm completely happy with them. They're like bibs. They're super comfortable. I can wear my jacket over the waders. I can wear my jacket under the waders. Um, I can wear sweatpants under them if I want to. Um, just a pair of uh, Drake fleece tights if I want to. Um, so I haven't had any problem and uh, I'm completely satisfied. As you guys saw, I got them right out of the box. I got in the water, in the lake, didn't leak. Um, I think a lot of it is all this stuff is made in China. Not just these waders, but a lot, if not... I think all the waders are made in China, except for the Sitka waders, honestly. But who wants to pay $800, $800, $900 for waders? Because I don't. I know these are going to last me a long time. If you're a guide and you are in, like, these waders, you know, 60 days out of the season or whatnot. Um, I mean, yeah, these, if, if they, if they break on you or if they just don't last very long because, you know, you are literally, um, not the weekend warrior. You're out there every day guiding clients and stuff. I mean, and, you know, you run through any pair of waders thrown at you. I mean then, yeah, I can understand that. Um, but for someone like me, who maybe hunts like, you know, 20 times, 25 times in a season, um, I, they work great for me. So, I'm super satisfied. Also, take into consideration that maybe these manufacturers don't want them to last very long, and they want us to keep buying their products and keep spending money on all this, you know, stuff. If you can imagine... If we all bought a pair of waders and they all last us like 15 or 20 years, then we wouldn't be buying very many of their products on a continual basis. Just kind of like with cars and anything else, when it, you know, when the car only lasts, you know, so long and then it breaks down and they want you, the car dealerships want you to come back, they want you to buy another car, car manufacturers want you to come back and buy another car, yada yada. I mean, they want you at that as that repeat uh, return customer constant. So they want you buying the newest, the newest product, the most updated product, you know, the, you know, on a continual basis or whatnot. So that's just kind of my, just kind of my opinion on it. So, um, but again, this is just to try and help you guys decide if you want these waders or not. So, um, also I thought I'd go into, um, for the shoe size. I wear a size eight and a half in Converse because Converse runs so flippin' big. So I have to wear wear down a size in those. And then I have these Ariat steel toe boots that I wear a size. Uh, these are these are ten. And then I've got these boots here. These are Ariats, and these are a ten. But for the the banded waders, um, those their size nine nine boot uh, because they kind of run like weight the weight if I were to get a size ten in waders like the I'm only five foot seven so you know the waders would be too too tall the the shims and the, the they would drag too much so the as far as my height goes. The size 9 regular in the waders is perfect for me, and the, the shoe, the boot in the waders is perfect for me as well. So, um, hopefully that helps with the boot size a little bit. Um, I would say, you know, if you want to wear um, other socks, uh, some thick socks, some wool socks, you, you probably should buy a size up. Um, now for me, like I said, um, I can wear, you know, one or two pairs of socks and I'm fine with it and the they fit fine with me. So, hope that helps you guys and, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of good waiters out there. Um, 
not just these banded waders. Um, I think the gator waders look pretty good. Uh, I have a pair of the frog tog waders. Those are awesome too. So, uh, yeah, happy hunting, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.